And just like that, four months have passed since I last made a video. It really doesn't feel that long ago, but then again, a lot of big and new things have happened since I was last here. All good things. I think it's safe to say that I've been manifesting a lot of magic in my life, which I'm incredibly grateful for and very excited to share with you all. So yeah, let's pick up from where I left off. <laughs> you think so? And I'll show it's too much smash. Oh. You think so? Yeah. There you go, we moved in. I, I think I think we should I think we should split it up so the one thing like like next to here yeah. those be like yeah, and those be like there, like here, Hold on, tell me, what, what are you thinking, Abby? I'm thinking that those be there, okay. and those be there, and those be there, and those be there. This <laughs> is our, sh our shop. This is my shop. Oh? <laughs> yeah. Are you excited? Yes. The rest of January was spent preparing the space for the opening on the 4th of February. The commute to and from the shop is an hour-long bus ride, which I've really been enjoying. Having been immersed in those early motherhood years for the past six years, it feels strange, but really satisfying sitting and doing nothing. It gives me a lot of new time to daydream, which is one of my most favorite things to do. It was also slowly getting lighter at this point, so I'd be on the bus home for sunset over the lake, which was really beautiful. I have really fallen in love with this little harbour town. My shop is located in what is known as Gamlestan, which translated means old town. And here along the cobblestone streets you'll find wooden houses that were built in the 1800s. It's charming and quaint and it makes me really happy that I get to come here every day. As soon as I had finished settling into the new space, I started preparing for an exhibition that was happening in the middle of March in Gothenburg. In the months prior, I had filled jars with rusty nails and water so that by the time February came, I would have some rust ink to work with. I 
I also made paint from pigments I extracted from stones that I had collected from walks along the lake. Using these two different inks, I created a collection of abstract paintings titled From Rust to Dust. The paintings represent my process of working through my feelings of sadness when it comes to thinking about the state of our natural environment. Through making and using earth and rust pigments, I'm trying to find some beauty in the decay. It has been a month since I opened my doors to my uh, gallery slash concept store and I'm really happy with how it's turned out like visually. Um, I love being here. To me it's really calming and inspiring and beautiful. I think I've created a really beautiful space here and I'm really proud of it. Um, because I tend to work backwards in a lot of areas of my life, when I signed the lease to this place, I actually didn't have a business plan. Like I didn't have any financial predictions or idea of what my expenditures would be. Um, I just sort of went on this gut feeling that I would find a way of making it work. And yeah, I, I guess time will tell. Um, um, so yeah, that's where I am at the moment. And what else, what else? Oh yeah, if you want to look at the web shop, um, it's ftlop.gallery. And you can also find me on Instagram. And yeah, next week I'm sharing some really big, exciting news regarding our living situation um it might just be like my biggest manifestation to date so yeah check that out when that comes out mm -hmm.